So before installing the EPS converted for Civic EG, I decided to remove the original or OEM steering column, which is this one in black. Not sure if this is all uh, authentic or still OEM because it does have a weld. But this steering column OEM, it works great even though it's only depowered. My only problem is it's really hard to steer left to right if the car is not moving. Car moving from 2 or 5 kph, uh, it's really smooth. I was just curious about this EPS so I want to give it a shot. And if you want to order this, you send me an email. It's on my profile on YouTube. I think we can ship internationally. Payments will be through PayPal only. So I think they are with the same length and size. But I'm gonna install this first and then do a couple of bits while colors moving like 80 to 120 kph or maybe if the car is not moving, stand still, idling, see if the steering is smooth from left to right, etc. Now I did not bother filming all the process on how to remove the other stuff. I just made separate vids because it will take really quite long. I want my videos under 10 minutes. So again, this is only a conversion. I think the motor is from Suzuki, Mazda, Hyundai or Mazda or Nissan. I'm not sure, but definitely not for Honda. It's only a conversion, but my friend already installed uh, I think more than a hundred units or pieces of this EPS to Civics and sedans, ESIs, even Mini Coopers, he can make a conversion. Anyway, uh, again, if you want to order, you just send me an email. Payments will be through PayPal. So, I need to install it first to test drive and everything else. So a little bit info about the electricals. This one is for the battery, red one. It does have a fuse that we need to install and an accessory. This one is ACC for positive, I guess, and the negative is on the battery ground. He did install a relay. I'm not sure what this cylinder over here, maybe a capacitor, I'm not sure. If you google this code, I think it will give you Suzuki. But that's all the info that I can show you. Anyway, he installed a lot, maybe more than 100 to Civic EGs and sedans, ESIs, VTI, even EKs, and they all work great. So far, no bad reviews. So since this is a conversion, there will be some challenges. And I noticed that this one is not fully centered, so we need to do something about this and this plate or bracket for the fuse box it's rubbing against the module so i need to do something about that spacing problems and the motor rubs against uh, a plastic thingy over here need to do something about it you also need to remove the oem bracket for the column this one move them and you need to make your own so ghetto crappy uh, no no and it goes something like this I'll make a vid once it's done and then the other one on the right on the left so I think I need to remove this again paint this with clear it's eating up some rust here's what I did with the rubbing issue I shaved at least two millimeter over here and then I had to knock this out I had to remove it this I think this is for the flop where you have to select the air uh, going out cooling down your feet or your head this goes to the feet and turn this it will blow air directly to your to your head but I don't really need this and it doesn't work anymore so I decided to just rip it off but for the elites and purists it's a no-no and 
I had to paint the column to black. It's giving me rust already. So I'm gonna check if it's a much better fit this time. So after doing some mods and still there's not enough space but what I did I completely removed the bolt and the plastic for the fuse box as you can see it's gone and here you go I removed this so right now she's on a cable tie so far this one's working great but again if you're an elite or a purist this is a no-no for Honda lovers but for me I just want to use the EPS now after I remove the bolt in here or the, the plastic hinge there's enough space in here I think you don't really need to do anything about the I don't know what you call that part the plastic part over here this you don't really need to do something about this just forget that if there's a rubbing issue then it's up to you if you want to grind it but for me that feature is not working anymore so I'm all set with this I'm just going to install back everything now for the bracket at the moment I can only install one it needs to be two but I'm having a hard time with this sucker I'm having a hard time bending this so I'm gonna find other ways so how to get another bracket or I'm gonna do a test drive with just one bracket and see how that works so far so far so good so after the installation and wirings I'm gonna do a test drive with just one single bracket EPS now installed plastic trim over here cover is not yet installed but you won't see the EPS after I install the plastic so I'm just gonna check the temperature of the module 32 motor also 32 car is super cold so I'm gonna do a cold start first and then later on once the engine is on normal temp I'm gonna check the temperature or maybe after a few hours of driving so I'm gonna start her up in a while also I'm gonna do a vid wherein I install the cover and I'll let you guys see what it looks like under so let me just warm her up for the wiring red is for positive on battery with fuse then another positive wire for the ACC but ACC is not working on my car I'm not sure why the electrician tried fixing it but it's a no-go so we connected the other positive cable to the ignition and I'm gonna do a uh, test run or maybe car idling later on cold start so here we go cold start Not too soft, not too hard. So not too soft and not too hard, just the way like what I imagined. Car is still on cold start and I'm waiting for the car to go on normal temp. Let's see the temperature, if there's any changes at all. Module 33. Motor 33. So later on, I'll double check again the temperature of the motor and module. So here is an update after installing the what you call that plastic trim or guard. As you can see, there's no EPS, it's completely hidden. And console is centered, I guess. Let's check out if we go farther so 
so far I'm happy with this happy with the result happy with the feel I just need to do something about the bracket since it is a conversion I already tried this one drove around for like an hour motor the heat is tolerable I think it's below 40 but I'm gonna make a separate vid about that and I'm gonna make a separate vid uh, doing a test drive I just need uh, time uh, Manila is the traffic capital of the world so I need to go out late nights and do a test drive but so far I'm happy with this conversion I don't have to worry about leaks it's not original Honda but I'm all set with this so if you need one you message me on my email it's on my profile anyway that's just all for the day I'm gonna do a separate vid about uh, doing a test drive and then I'm gonna update the temperature and the motor I'm gonna put that on the vid so you, you guys can check it out if you want to do this conversion thingy so far I'm happy with the results and that's all I can show you for today bye bye